If you're watching this, you've probably heard how great of a city Chandler is. Some way or another, you've been told by a friend or online or by another YouTuber that Chandler is the best city in Phoenix. And it's popular, and but that's probably how you have found this video. And so this video is to break down if it's actually a good fit for you. And we're gonna do that by going through the pros and cons of living in Chandler. And I'm gonna give a totally honest review of it. I'm gonna tell you the things that you should know that's a positive and a reason you've probably heard of it, but also some things that are maybe a little bit hidden and, and pushed down under the rug so that people don't know about Chandler. Some of the downsides of moving to the city of Chandler. I'm a realtor here in the area, here to give you everything you need to know about moving to Phoenix. And before we get started, I always have to plug my totally free moving to Phoenix guide. It's everything you should know about moving to the Phoenix area from the far west valley to the far east valley everything in phoenix that you should know like some of the different cities or like some of the different things to do or even phrases that we say here in phoenix that you may not know so email me it is on the screen and you can have that for free we're going to start it off hot the con number one about chandler that you have to know is that it is a very crowded city it is crowded in the sense of it is now, I would suggest, overpopulated. Originally, Chandler was a little bit on the outskirts of Phoenix. This is, you know, 30, 40 years ago when they were expanding and there were larger lots, a lot of land available. Chandler has exploded, especially in the last 10 to 15 years because of its popularity, and it is quite crowded now. Now, it's not like you're necessarily jammed up against all of your neighbors like maybe you would picture in a New York City, although there are subdivisions like that where you really don't have much gap between houses, but there's plenty of houses that do have gaps. I would say the biggest issue you're going to find is when it comes to traffic or when it comes to going to stores, when it comes to going to restaurants, it's going to be busier. Now, I wouldn't put it in the category, like I said, like in New York or Los Angeles, where your commute time would be 30 minutes without traffic and now it's two hours. I wouldn't say that, but I would say of any city in the entire Phoenix area, Chandler probably has the worst commute times. If you're trying to get to places like Phoenix or Scottsdale or Tempe, you're just going to hit more traffic just because of how populated Chandler is and a common place for people to work that live in Chandler is going to be, well, most likely where you're working as well. Uh, and again, it's not like it's actually horrible, but I would say it does turn maybe a 20 minute commute into a 40 minute commute, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, uh, especially compared to some other metro cities. But in Phoenix, Chandler's traffic is pretty bad, the 202 especially. And then when you connect to the 10, the traffic can get quite frustrating uh, either direction, mornings and afternoons, just anytime during that rush hour. So biggest con about Chandler is that it is a little bit crowded. So pro number one is probably gonna be its location. And we're gonna talk about some other things uh, about why its location combined with some other factors make it so great. But its location is pretty great. Uh, like I said, some of the most popular places to work in the entire Phoenix area, Chandler being popular, but downtown Phoenix, downtown Scottsdale, and Tempe, probably the top four places where jobs are going to be. Uh, when it comes to those higher paying jobs, there are some larger factories on the outskirts, but when it comes to where are the majority of companies working, it's gonna be those areas, especially Scottsdale being the most popular place that a business wants to have that address when they're working. So you have pretty good access to those places and, and really just great location centrality, two things to do. If you wanna to go to downtown Scottsdale or downtown Phoenix or Tempe, again, popular entertainment places, you're fairly close, 15, maybe 30 minutes at the most to all of those. Uh, so pretty central location in Chandler. And that somewhat leads us to con number two, which is going to be that it is a fairly expensive city to live in when compared to the rest of Phoenix. Basically outside of Scottsdale, Chandler is probably gonna be the most expensive city in the Phoenix area. Uh, Gilbert actually right next to it, they kind of cross lines is a slightly more expensive, but those two almost like, you kind of say you live in Chandler, Gilbert area. And so, in general, they kind of coincide with each other, but they are different cities. So Chandler being fairly expensive, the median sale price is 520,000, and there is a fairly extreme lack of inventory in Chandler. Compared to any other city, Chandler has extremely low inventory. And the reason for that is because probably while you're watching this video, it's extremely popular. People love Chandler for a lot of good reasons. We're gonna get into more of those in a second, but because it's so popular, there's a lot less homes to choose from, and there tends to be a little bit more of a bidding war over there. It's not crazy like we saw in 2020 and 2021 where it's 50,000 over, but you are probably gonna have multiple offers on a house over there that's priced properly. So the cost of living is fairly expensive. Uh, the median rent price over there is about 2,500, and both of those numbers, the rent and the sale price, are gonna be in the top three of the entire Phoenix area when it comes to cities. Uh, much more expensive than a place like Surprise, Peoria, Buckeye, Goodyear, all those places is gonna be more expensive then. So pro number two is going to be its low crime rate. Why is it so popular? Because when you look up some of the safest cities in all of Arizona, 
Chandler tends to be on that list at once. It was ranked the fifth safest city in all of the US. This was in 2017, fifth safest city for families. And that's kind of the emphasis of Chandler. It tends to be fairly family oriented. Um, and so it is extremely safe city compared to others in terms of lower crime rates. According to bestplaces.net, they have a violent crime rate of 13.2 and whatever their standard is, but that is much less than the US average of 22.7, almost half of the US average when it came to violent crime rates. And their police and fire stations, they pride themselves in extremely fast response times. Uh, they tend to always have it posted on their website what their average response time is, and it is pretty impressive. You should go take a look at that. And so obviously for families that are considering a place to move in Phoenix, they see, hey, this is the safest city. That's probably gonna be an option on their list. Now, con number three, and this is mostly due to the location of Chandler, is just that there's not a lot of outdoor things to do. Yes, there are some options, but just compared to a lot of surrounding places, there's no like hikes that are well known over there that I would say, you know, I would drive, uh, you know, 20 minutes to go to this hike. Um, it's not really known for many golf courses, although they do have some. There's no like famous golf courses or must play courses like there are, you know, in a place like Scottsdale or Phoenix, even Peoria, uh, Goodyear. They all have those courses. I, I can't really say there's much in Chandler. Again, there are some great courses. The Ocotillo in particular is a well-known one, but in general, just its golf is a little bit lower quality uh, than maybe some of the others. And that just coincides with just not a ton of outdoor things to do uh, when compared to other more central cities, even Tempe right next to it. Uh, they have their A mountain hike right there. Gilbert has a lot more out there things to do, a lot more lakes and stuff over in Gilbert. So in general, a lack of outdoor things to do. You're probably gonna be driving 25, 30 minutes if you wanna get to some of those nicer hikes or just in general, any outdoor things to do, you're probably not gonna find really in the city of Chandler, except for maybe like community things like a community pool or a community park, stuff like that. So pro number three, and this is probably the number one pro in all honesty, is going to be that it's just overall family friendly, right? We, we talked about how uh, they have an extremely low crime rate, but on top of that, they're known as having the best schools in the Phoenix area and by a pretty decent margin. And that is mostly because the tech companies in Phoenix actually help fund some of these public schools to make sure that they have the best technology in order for them to build up and raise great workers in the future. And so Chandler actually has additional funding. And if you didn't know, Phoenix usually has poor funding when it comes to their public schools. Chandler has additional funding to help get the nicest and newest stuff. And on top of just their public schools, they have some incredible and extremely highly rated charter schools, private schools, and they're also well known for their after school programs and clubs and different things like that all go together with that family friendly atmosphere. And another thing that jumps into that family friendly is just their communities in general. You have a fairly broad range of options in Chandler uh, from your starter home at 400,000 to your Uber luxury over a million. Uh, but most of them are going to some sort of suburb uh, that tends to have an HOA, that tends to have sidewalks, lights at night, a little park on the inside, potentially a community pool. Things like that are extremely common to see in Chandler and they're all seem to be designed for that family atmosphere. Now, if you don't like HOAs, then it's going to be a negative because there are a lot of HOAs in the Chandler area. Uh, but most people that have a family, they would prefer to have some sort of security, some sort of uh, thing that is showing that everyone in the neighborhood is going to upkeep their area, maybe have a community pool. So HOAs are fairly common and popular over there. But overall, the city of Chandler is really designed for families and uh, again, jumping onto that category is going to be their options for jobs. So, right, if you're raising a family, you need a decent paying job, especially in today's society. Chandler has a ton of job opportunities, a ton of great companies that have moved there and are moving there, especially in the tech industry. So it's an extremely popular spot for business and it's constantly growing. Uh, they've realized how great of workers are found in Chandler and people are willing to move there also from out of state extremely common. So that's a popular place for tech companies to move to Arizona and come from some of these higher paying tax places such as California or Seattle. They can move from there, get just as good as workers, pay much less in taxes and be in a very desirable spot. So you see plenty of job opportunities um, when it comes to those higher paying great jobs that you could see yourself having a career in. So those are the three pros and three cons of living in Chandler. Hopefully you get a little bit more well-rounded view of the city. I know some people just like to tell you how amazing it is and don't get me wrong it's an amazing city it's the most popular city to move to uh, for a good reason uh, but there's also some downsides right if you want a really quiet area that you don't have to worry about traffic um, you don't have to worry about it being overcrowded or maybe you want a nicer home uh, for less price 
Chandler's just not going to be an option for you. Kind of a, a similar structure city with a lot less people, less things to do, of course, and, and less central is going to be a place like Surprise. It's going to be much cheaper. You're still going to get a great house. It's still going to be that kind of family-centered uh, drive that those communities are going for, but it's going to be a little bit more on the outskirts, not near things to do, and it's going to be cheaper. Whereas Chandler, you're going to have tons of things to do, tons of new restaurants, extremely local, but it will be slightly more expensive. So Chandler is a city that I can't recommend enough, but there are some downsides that you should know before considering moving to Chandler. If you're thinking of moving to Chandler or really any city in the Phoenix area, I'd love to help you out or just answer some questions for you. Uh, my phone and email are on the screen. So if you're needing help with that, feel free to reach out to me and stay tuned for more videos like this.